Ladies and gentlemen, honored and distinguished guests, gender equality is a fundamental human right and the core principle of our society. It is a reflection of our society and our hopes for a more egalitarian future. It is also an essential condition for social justice, a thriving economy and a representative democracy. As government, we committed to address inequality both in legislation and policy. As a result, female empowerment has come a long way and today our society is conscious of the importance of gender equality and how central it is for society as a whole. The COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in countless changes to our daily lives. We are all adjusting to new ways of living. Each person's situation is different, but for sure, the virus is further highlighting the different realities faced by women and men, not simply when it comes to the direct impact on health, but also on their diverging social and economic prospects. Recognizing the extent to which disease outbreaks affects women and men differently is a fundamental step towards understanding the primary and secondary effects of a public health emergency on different individuals, genders and communities, and thus creating effective, equitable policies and interventions. The Maltese government has introduced a number of initiatives to ensure to address the protection and promotion of gender equality, especially in relation to vulnerable groups. Victims of domestic violence are more likely to be in greater danger, as many people, including aggressors, are forced to stay at home. This means that victims are now more exposed to possible instances of violence and have less opportunities than usual to seek support. In view of this, we have increased our raising awareness campaigns and also introduced a form of silent reporting through the 112 app. This government has also extended the private rent housing benefit scheme to victims of domestic violence, which enables them to leave their homes as opposed to remaining confined with their perpetrators. Introduction of social measures, including additional leave for two months, to be paid at the rate of 800 euros per month to families, where both parents, guardians, are not able to make use of teleworking. COVID-19 has presented a new opportunity for both women and men to make use of teleworking when possible. Government has introduced a call to support employers and self-employed to invest in technology that enables teleworking and to partially cover the cost of teleworking solutions. The coronavirus pandemic presents us with a unique opportunity to effect systematic changes that could protect and support women for similar future eventualities. We need to continue providing accurate and supportive care and messaging with the intention to enhance people's safety, dignity and rights. Ensuring policies and interventions speak to everyone's needs, which is a fundamental step to understanding the primary and secondary effects of a health emergency on different individuals and communities. We need to recognize that the home may not be a safe place for some women and may indeed increase exposure to intimate partner violence. We need to ensure support and availabilities of helplines, shelters and access to justice and police protection for women exposed to gender-based violence. Flexible work arrangements currently in place in response to the pandemic should continue beyond it and provide a new model of shared responsibilities within households. We need to ensure that we are protecting vulnerable people with particular reference to older women, migrant women, LGBTIQ women, women living in poverty and other specific groups of women in situations of vulnerability. We also need to ensure that gender mainstreaming is applied in all areas of the recovery strategy. As Junior Minister for Equality, I declare a strong commitment to continue working to further safeguard equality in the various sectors in order to strengthen the considerable progress registered to date and address new and outstanding challenges for the achievement of de facto equality. I wish you a successful and fruitful meeting and I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for all the hard work being done in breaking through the infamous glass ceiling.